time. Look at these bunny <laughs> rabbits. Oh my gosh. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? Hi, nice Good to, to meet see you. you. Nice Amy, to meet you. Thanks for you. being here. Yes, thank you for having me. Well, and okay, so you brought some bunny rabbits with you yes. today, but this is all really centered around a, a documentary. Tell yes. us about your documentary. Uh, it's called Rabbit Fever, and Ooh. this is Heather, and uh, this is Heather. That's Heather. An, she's an English Angora. Okay. <laughs> And then we have Margaret, who's a giant angora. And okay. these are examples of show bunnies that you find um, every year at the National Rabbit Convention. Wow. And um, there's actually, um, I shot at the National Convention that was actually here in Indianapolis um, a few years ago. Nope. And it's in the film. Really? I go to a lot of county fairs. I'm a small town kid. And I understand, you know, 20, 30, 40 bunnies from elementary, junior high, high school kids. <laughs> How big is this national thing? It's up to 25,000 rabbits under one rabbits. building. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> That's tremendous. Well, is, is this sort of um, something that people really aren't necessarily familiar with as far as showing rabbits, keeping rabbits? I mean, people might have a pet rabbit, but this kind of takes everything to the next level. Yeah, there's 47 different breeds. It's just like the American Kennel Club. And okay. the National Rabbit Convention is um, similar to the grandeur of like the um, the the big dog show, the Westminster dog okay. show, actually. Oh, wow. So it's a big deal, especially in the rabbit world, and no one really knows about it, So which is why I made a documentary about it. But how, how did you come to find out about it? Did you just stumble on somebody that had a rabbit? Um, I, <laughs> I actually had a case of rabbit fever myself. Oh. Oh, yeah. okay. You're an insider. <laughs> uh, sort of, but not, no, I never showed rabbits, but I picked up um, a purebred rabbit, which is a door pot toad, it's a small one, mm -hmm. um, and at a, my first rabbit show, um, actually about eight years ago, and when I saw it, I was like, wow. I was like, I couldn't believe what I saw. Like, it it was just, it was like walking into a Christopher Guest movie, you know, that movie Best in <laughs> yes, Show? Yes, I do. Yes, yeah, that's yeah, right. It was exactly like that. Um, so I thought, no one really knows about it. I, w I couldn't, like, I was trying to explain it to people, like, this this actually happens. And that's what I thought, oh, I should make a film about it. Feature length, though? Feature length, yeah, <laughs> no, really. I, I don't mean to question your <laughs> no, artistic no. judgment. But. Um, I actually, it, it's been a project that I've been working on for eight years mm -hmm. um, since graduating film school. Wow. And I follow the same competitors from year to year. And some of them are kids, and now they're in college. Um, and I shot them, like, ever since they were, like, starting oh. high school. So um, I follow their characters from year to year, and you get to see them grow and all that. So, oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's nice that we're actually in Indianapolis because um, it was their last stop um, before college. Okay. So now they're coming back for the screening um, this Sunday and they're going to be able to see the film for the first time. Oh, that's awesome. Which is why you described the film as a coming-of-age story. Yes. So at first we were like, coming-of-age? Yeah. Oh, because we've been following these. I like, yeah, oh, I thought, you know, so. rabbits. Oh, and they have some other ones here, right? Yes, we do, actually. I, um, I have my animal handlers here, Jody and Pam. Hello, ladies. Hey, ladies. Hello. Hello. More bunny We're going to show you the difference. Okay, these are angora rabbits, and they have more fibrous, woolly coats, as you can see. Are they very, considered very exotic soft. breeds, or is there an exotic? They're, or doesn't matter a breed. Um, they're all domestic. They're all okay. there's 47 br oh, different breeds. Look at that. Okay. And um, this one's a Rex, um, a Rex breed, and you could just feel the fur. It's so different. Like it's like velvet. <gasps> oh my gosh. Yes. Feel that. Is oh, that yeah. super soft? <laughs> wow. And he's got beautiful markings yeah. too. And beautiful eyes. Yeah. Oh my god. And now we're getting into like super cutesy oh, territory. Yeah, yeah. This Nothing is the Netherland Dwarf. Yeah, you guys are great. And, and the Netherland Dwarf is one that you mostly find like as here. pets in the pet stores. Okay. Okay. Um, can you bring Dee Dee here as well? Sure. Now, I've heard that, you know, rabbits really can be trained to sit and come on when call. I mean, is, is, is that true? I mean, I've never had a rabbit. Yeah, actually, when I had a, a bunny, um, that's why I loved rabbits, actually. Um, my, my rabbit... Oh, look there. Oh, <laughs> uh, that was We forgot, yeah, that there's some uh, males here. Oh, yeah, wow. <laughs> um, um, yeah, you can actually... My rabbit would actually um, wait for me when I got home from school by uh -huh. the door, and it was just so sweet, because um, I was never able to have a dog, so which is why I had a rabbit when I was little. Oh, oh my gosh. 40, 47 different breeds. 47 different, 47 different oh breeds. And this Holy is Dee Dee. She's only, um, was it three months old? Three months old. Three months old. Yeah. Well, what has this film done for the rabbit community? I mean, they kind of made oh, people. Oh, 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 it's okay. Whoops. There you go. Oh, my goodness. The jumpy little things. Yeah. Um, well, actually, Jody, how do you feel about it? Jody's um, an Indiana um, rabbit breeder. Yeah, yes, okay. absolutely. Oh, it's fantastic, especially for the youth. Okay. The youth are getting very inspired when they see, you know, they may not have seen a large show. Right. So they see this versus their county fair, what we were talking about before, when they're mm -hmm. used to seeing 20 or 30 bunnies, right. and now the thousands and thousands. It's maybe a little overwhelming, Well, then it, pretty it, soon they're hooked. I'm sure there's <laughs> a lot that you can learn from uh, keeping a rabbit and learning to Absolutely. show it and grooming it. A lot of responsibility probably Absolutely. for the younger people to kind of learn the responsibility of caring for uh, another little being. So. Absolutely. So for people oh, who are curious, do you have a website that people can learn more, look at more breeds, things of that nature? Um, yeah, actually, you could go to... Um, 
for, to look at the different breeds, you could go to arba.net, A-R-B-A.net. A-R-B-A? Okay. And that stands for the American Rabbit Breeders Association. And this is a special year to premiere Rabbit Fever because it's the 100th year anniversary oh. for the American Rabbit Breeders Association. Um, oops. Oh, wow. Dusty. There we go. Let me just take Dusty okay. here. We'll, we'll set him aside. Dusty, here. you're a wild man. Dusty reminds me of my three-year-old. My um, so I think it's a good year. This, is, this hobby has been around for 100 years, and um, no one has known about it. Very um, cool. Mm-hmm. So, um, yes, and please um, check out the film, sure. um, which is um, premiering this Sunday um, at the AMC Castleton Square. Um, and we'll have, like, um, members of the cast as well. And rabbitfever.com, cool. right? Yes, rabbitfever.com. Right. All the production yes. notes and things like yeah, that. Yeah, and it's, gonna, it's premiering at the Heartland Film Festival. Awesome. Nice. Ladies, thank you so much. Ladies and... and- Bunnies? And, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alpha bunny. I didn't know there was such a phrase, but there is now. There and that is. would be dusty. We'll be right back. More indie style coming up.